What some people are concerned is that this Leninist organization, which is looking at what's happened successfully in El Salvador and Nicaragua and Venezuela, where these revolutionary governments took power, that they want to replicate that in Colombia. The guerrillas negotiated such a generous package of economic assistance, uh, social support for these areas of past conflict where the guerrillas are going to actually be resettling. It's such a generous package, as a matter of fact, that the Colombian state doesn't have the means to comply. If the state doesn't comply with its commitments, it's going to be subject to criticism. So almost immediately, the FARC will attack the fact that the government's not complying with, with its commitments under the peace agreement. The guerrillas could use that criticism, and that's the concern. Using the democratic means, abusing uh, representative democracy, and then eventually taking power and dissolving the institutions so that they can hold power in perpetuity. What do you think is in store for Colombia? Let us know in the comments section and let us know what other topics you want AEI scholars to cover in 60 seconds.